detector at that it'll be fun. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, for those of us in the treehouse, we're getting a chance to be out here and uh, play these games for people. And we, we thank you for stopping by in this segment. Yes, thank and you. Uh, just thank you for Star Fox in general. We're just as much fans as we are <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> employees. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. All right, so folks, hang tight. In a couple seconds, we'll be right back with some more stuff getting uh, Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3 kicked off. Hope you stay with us. See ya. We'll be right back. Well then, that was definitely interesting. I kind of want to see what that R-Wing looks like. Um, but the one that they were talking about just then, where you could actually sit inside of it and... <laughs> Sorry, got distracted by the music. Um... Seems like we aren't getting a new F Zero game. That was one thing that I was kind of hoping that they would announce. I'm not t too big of a fan of the F Zero series. Actually, I haven't even played any of them. I think I tried out one of the games that was available as a demo in Smash Four on the Wii U. Um, I don't remember which one it was. It might have been the. Super Nintendo F-Zero. I couldn't even figure out how to control my car properly <laughs> in the two or three minutes that it gave me. But maybe next E3. That might be something that they announce next E3, or maybe even later on tomorrow or Thursday. <laughs> Almost forgot what day today was. <laughs> Um, well, we're getting a new Metroid game, that's interesting, although I'm wondering if there'll be a mode where you get to play as Samus, because, you know, she's the main protagonist of the franchise, it would be weird to have a Metroid game without Samus. Then again, those uh, player characters their armor somewhat resembled Samus's suit, I think. Just going off of memory right here. Um, Hey everybody, welcome oh, back to Nintendo and back. Treehouse Live at E3. Uh, I'm Eric, right here with Morgan, Smitty, and Sam. And Hi, you guys. Hey guys, it is so surreal to be back here a year later uh, <laughs> after this yeah. crazy experiment that we had last year with... It is crazy. It's, it's surreal being on stage with Mimoto-san, honestly. <laughs> it's weird, man. I'm I know. Just it's a little I'm overwhelming. Like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because well, you work for Nintendo doesn't mean like flying like the R-Wing in front of Mr. Mimoto. Yeah, it's not, yeah. We don't do that every day. <laughs> they well, usually lock us up in a room and have yeah. us localized games and all the other things we do in the well, treehouse. Well, that's the thing. It's like, it, uh, the secret here is that, well, I mean, it's not even a secret. We have no idea what we're doing up here. We have no idea because typically we're locked away in this, you know, room and we're working <laughs> on our games and we talk about games all day. And the whole concept of Treehouse Live, uh, you know, was always just kind of like, hey, let's just get up here. We'll play some games. We'll hang out. Uh, we'll show people the stuff that's new at E3. And, and actually uh, talk about stuff. And that's stuff. what I'm so excited to do this year, yeah. Well, we only get to talk about the games we work on with each other until... I know, we have all these you know. secrets, like, you know, in our head. I'm like, oh, this player's coming to Smash, and I can't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it in, how do I get it out? Um, so we just saw the digital mm. van. That was awesome. Right, I'll uh, be back uh, Taking a look at Star Fox, but... Uh, th this week kicked off with Nintendo World Championships. Oh, man. Which yeah, that John was numbers. awesome. John numbers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the jam guy. That was just I probably should have recorded uh, that so myself. Mind, mind actually. Uh, you know, a couple of favorite moments. All of you guys were there, first of all. And, mm -hmm. uh, and you Took guys up. designed the actual levels in the final. Yep. Uh, and, and that was an amazing moment. But we'll get to that in a second. But earlier in the tournament, I mean, just some amazing stuff happening. Uh, some of my favorite memories are Sinister One beating Super Metroid. That was yeah, amazing. Right at, at the, the last end, second. The last yeah. second. That, was, uh, that was amazing. I, BS, BSG 4000, he took the uh, Zelda speedrun, uh, Dungeon speedrun. That was, that was amazing. He came back at the last minute, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. 
players are dying left and right, and just like so much drama. <laughs> yeah. and these guys saw me backstage because I was just pacing back and forth back there. You know, they, I think they were just like, "It's gonna be okay," like you know. Yeah. But uh, just watching all that action was just absolutely amazing. Yeah, we uh, and, and then the final, when John Numbers figured out that first Super Mario Maker level, man, I, I think mean, that, uh, I was so that was, was awesome. Was gonna figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. It was gonna be a tie at the first. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. I think you I was guys have built up, up a down. frightening reputation based on uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just cool that with, uh, we you know, we're, we'll get to it later on Trails Live, but with Super Mario Maker, it gives... Those are some diabolical like, levels. We're, we're not game Three we're not pounds designers. are stacked yeah. on top of each other. Seriously? That yeah. Sort of yeah. live out your dream, like, I want to see what I can do if given the tools of the trade, so, man. Well, and, and speaking of game developers, we're going to have some on stage mm -hmm. here this week. Yep. Uh, in addition to just playing games up here, you know, we're going to be showing the games that are actually in the digital event. Um, you know, as we go along, and you know, it's gonna be some, you know, some surprises in terms of what we're gonna show each yeah. day. But you know, mm -hmm. we're gonna go through these games and check them out. We're gonna be here all week. Yeah, yeah it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be wild. literally. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show. We're here, and we're showing off cool stuff. And I hope yeah. people stay tuned and check us out and yeah. Yeah. see what's going on. Yeah. For sure, I think one thing that's maybe worth mentioning, on top of the fact that. You know, we aren't really professional presenters, and weird stuff might happen when we kind of like <laughs> trip on yeah. ourselves and, and goof up. Uh, most of the software has to be expected, though. In various stages of development as well, so folks who are watching yeah. might see some weird bugs or some glitches or some funky text, and it's all stuff that we're still working on. So if something's weird there, we know, and we're working yeah. on fixing it. So it's. It's going to get some more polish for sure when we actually get back to work. Well, we're, we're just going to have fun. They do have hair glitches. Uh, It'll be so good for them to find it here to be doing it again. So, so that they know um, better we'll to be fix shortly, that. And uh, we're going to kind of get in to kick off some more games. Yeah, we're going to take a short break. I think we've got a real treat coming up, so I hope people will stay tuned. All right, we'll yeah. be right back. So, yeah. Um, yeah, they had some very diabolical level designs in uh, Mario Maker. So, one of the levels was outright a labyrinth, and at one point, one of the people playing had a fire flower while in the high-heeled shoe power-up while inside of the Koopa Clown car. It was that crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to crack me up a bit. <laughs> there were also some really good races in Mario Kart 8 yesterday. Um, let's see. Um, as far as, uh, for those wondering when I'm going to be releasing this, because I'm not live streaming this or anything, so... This is definitely not going up the same day as this E3. It's probably going to take me a while just to edit this, sync up all the audio and whatnot. In fact, when I was humming to the, the Mario music that played at the last year mission, that was partially so that I could use that as a way of syncing up the audio. <laughs> I can't keep up with this song. But that was another sync up right there. And it seems like we're coming back to the thing. Or not, it was just going to a completely different song. <laughs> I feel like there could have been a lot more that they could have shown, but like maybe some updates to uh, Project Guard, Giant Robot, uh, Project Treasure, Devil's Third, like I mentioned at the very beginning. It's kind of odd not seeing any sort of uh, updates on those, like how are these things looking now? It seems like they're just kind of sweeping those under the rug for the time being. Maybe they're getting close to release. Who knows? I definitely don't. I'm just speculating at this point, and there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, yesterday, they had first revealed a Blast Ball. I was not expecting that to be a Metroid game. I, at one point I joked saying, 
Oh, hey, it's kind of like a Metroid Prime soccer. <laughs> I cannot believe that it actually did turn out to become a Metroid Prime game. Oh man, that, that was just really funny how that wound up happening. Especially considering it doesn't even look like... Well, the characters don't really look all that Metroid-ish. Unless those were robots within bigger robots. I don't know. It, it might just be a different art style for that game. Maybe Samus might not even appear. Or maybe she'll be like some sort of super attack sort of thing for single player mode. Where you get to summon Samus to use the zero laser or something and wipe out an entire room full of enemies all in a straight line or something. <laughs> I have no idea, but man, this music is so catchy! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, we're back! Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3. Uh, we've got a Super Mario Maker segment coming up, and uh, who else but, to <laughs> but two very Super Mario Makers, uh, Mr. Miyamoto uh, and Mr. Tezuka. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much for having us. We also have Bill Trennan from the Treehouse and Ethan who will be translating. Uh, Bill, when he's speaking, will be translating for Mr. Miyamoto and Ethan will be translating <laughs> for Mr. Tezuka. And, uh, you know, we're here with Mario Maker and we're just going to have some fun. Um, <laughs> So, we decided that what we'd like to do with these guys is, I mean, how fun is it to see these this guys make a course music. live? We saw in the digital event these guys talk about what it was like making courses back in the day on graph paper um, and filling in the blanks and uh, all of that. So, we're going to take a course uh, and let them sort of my glasses it on the probably fly, glared. and then they're going to make me play it. I guess this is sort of uh, going to be my... Uh, the sort of horror story after doing that to players at the Nintendo World Championship. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny, though. So, uh, what we're going to do to get started here is just sort of show you guys the palette uh, that we're going to start with. Uh, yeah, I think this is the level that they made. Uh, so this is uh, something that I just kind of whipped up on my own to, to show what? you here, Morgan. Wait a minute. This isn't the level. Looks very familiar to me. Yeah, and oh. Mr. Tesco says what? that a lot of people Ooh. are probably going to be familiar yeah, with what we'll be there. seeing here. Whoa. But there may be some different Okay. Yep. That's different. A few things what? That I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can handle this though. Yeah, this is a very, very slight oh, reason. What? <laughs> that, that wasn't there either. Yeah, this is fun. This is just, a, you know, it, I like it. This is like a remix light. Uh, you could have shot fireballs. I think you talked about these gaps in the digital event. These exact <laughs> gaps here. <laughs> There's an event that they okay, good. He didn't fall down it. Yeah. That's right. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey. I used that same. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I was surprised by that one. That, that one gives me a shock every time. I love that. So Morgan is the championship. Jeez. That was a good level. But, yeah. Maybe that wasn't like, enough uh, for you, Mr. Tiscadis. Yeah, I, that one felt pretty good. You know, it was like 1-1 yeah. with a little a twist. But uh, I think you guys would love to show us how, with Mario Maker, you can make <laughs> edits quickly and you can remix things and change courses in the uh, so, Okay, so that's uh, the menu you guys are gonna work up a world select thing. And I'm actually going to be, they're going to blindfold me here so that I don't know what's being done and then I'm going to have to play this thing blind. So you oh jeez. Oh <laughs> 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 So we're going to use this palette here. We can change the skin if we want to when we tap up here in the left corner. So let's, let's go with the most recent nice. skin here. 
Mario is Superman. He is flying. So we're gonna switch from an, uh, a ground type level, so you can just change it completely. Okay, let's go with an underwater. Well, I'm gonna move the mic. A bit. Okay, we're, we were that's centered. Just for this, but yeah, but Morgan's really good, so you need to put a bunch of a bunch of obstacles. Oh jeez, we're gonna get drowning Goombas. <laughs> Oh, jeez! Put another one in there. We'll put a super star right here. This should be enough. Okay. Uh, Morgan, I think they're ready for you. Oh, I can't hear me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was being think, serious. Right maybe he might have fallen asleep. So I, just blow my nose. I had a blindfold and... He doesn't have jet lag like me, though. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, good luck. Uh, <laughs> it's clearly water now. Right. Oh, Jesus. Kuma's already for drowning. Oh, wait, they're swimming. Thank you. Sort of. It's like a flooded one one, basically. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. yeah, Morgan's. are now swimming and attacking you from above. I love that. There you go. <laughs> That's very nice. He showed him right where that was with the, by putting it into question mark. <laughs> and now this will let you kind of play the you know course in a carefree way, so until it runs out. <laughs> it's too. This is too easy. For the yeah, I should have made this a little more difficult. <laughs> I am missing out on this because I'm bombing it. But it is, I mean, you can see right away. It doesn't, you know, you don't okay. Sorry about that. It doesn't feel like the same course at all. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Swimming wigglers. Yeah, it's nice that you don't even Whoa. have to start from scratch. You can even just begin by editing courses that are. The like oh! Wiggler got you there. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, you got him. I haven't played underwater in a while. Yeah. Uh, you gonna jump back in? Yeah, I'm gonna jump back in. I'm gonna start one more time. Yeah, he's gonna, you're gonna do it again, Morgan. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna try one more time. No star. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 that. Get that. I want it. I'm gonna see if I didn't. I didn't test this the first time, but this pipe was always. Oh. In one oh. one, this yeah. pipe was always a down pipe. Uh, oh jeez. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Infinite coins! Yeah, I'm sure that's a little nostalgic for you. It's, uh, yeah, it's very, very nostalgic. Do you have item reserves in this one? No, uh, I thought maybe you changed it. <laughs> yeah. You may have already seen it. Oh. That's, that's so mean. <laughs> But hey, at least you can get the flagpole. He's like, uh, he went over the flagpole. Uh, 
afraid that wasn't enough for you, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice. Good job. That was, that was too easy. <laughs> too easy. Mm. Mm. It was very fun though and relaxing. So, do you want to try making a little something on top of this now? or doing Oh, something sure, else? yeah. So, okay. I'll, I'll mix it up a bit. And uh, I don't think we have enough blindfolds for both of you, but let me just. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to bump it up 